What is going on guys, Tiswalfa here, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher. Let's jump right back in. Last episode, we had a great episode of exploration over in the, the like glass desert. Finally found out what those like weird plants on the ground were all for. We found like a really cool little fountain that we could, <laughs> and yeah, we, yeah, we also made this giant gold gourd over here too. I forgot about this guy. But yeah, we, we, we found like a fountain and watered that weird plant and actually like caused like an oasis bubble to appear all around the uh, the, the, the glass desert area, kind of like in a, a smaller bubble, but not, not the whole area was in a bubble. So that's really cool. I do want to go back there and check it out because you guys did comment some stuff that I want to kind of myth bust once we get over there. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I did see in the comments was that I should turn these guys, the mosaic slimes, into Largos with the saber slimes over here. So that would be this one? Yeah, Saber Plores. Okay, yeah. Let's get a few of those. I don't know how many uh, how many mosaics we have right now. I guess we'll just grab a few. And that'll be good. But I guess we can pick these guys up and put them somewhere. So, uh, they could be either in the meat or... Hmm. Oh, jeez. Explosions and stuff going on here. <laughs> they could be either in the meat or the vegetable area. And we're growing vegetables over here. Yeah. We're growing vegetables here. We just don't have room. I did get some comments of you guys saying, yeah, you could just let the uh, the phosphor slimes loose. I don't need, I, like, I guess they're fine here. Hmm. But I guess if, I guess if they're loose, there's going to be that much more uh, possibility of them potentially turning into tars. Whenever they, like, leave a plort out and then maybe these guys could eat it through the... Oh, whoa. Yeah, that was something. Yeah, speaking of such, I did remember reading some comments saying there's, like, a dangerous... Uh, sort of thing that happens here with these guys over here the tangle guys with their vines that are able to reach through like other uh, Like like underneath the the, the corrals over here. They're able to like I, I guess maybe they can get a plort and then like it, it like you guys remember last episode We saw a bunch of plorts over here. Maybe they're able to grab Plorts that are like right here or something like that and then they turn into a tar and that would be a danger So if that happens, we might want to get that 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 oh wait. Yeah, you don't have it here you only have the tar thing, the protection thing over here. Yeah, the scare slime. Ooh. You know what? We should probably buy it. We've got money, and we've never gotten the tar sub. <laughs> there it is. Okay, that's where it is on this side over here. That's what it looks like. Are they really going to fool the slimes or the tars or whatever with this thing? It looks so not real. Not convincing at all. Let's get another one over here. Just in case we do have some scarce or uh, some tars over here. So. I'm like, there is that possibility because of these guys here. So, you know, better safe than sorry, I suppose, huh? But I guess we can grab these guys here. They like to eat the, uh, the, the, what is this thing called again? The parsnip, the silver parsnip. Which we're growing over here. But it's just that. Oh, whoa, 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 why is this guy? Oh, did he jump out or something? I don't know what happened to this guy. I don't know, maybe he went through the net or something like that. Yeah, I did get a few comments of you guys saying, yeah, just go back to having like six Largos per area here. <laughs> Which is like the magic number that we uh, came up with earlier on in the series. I don't know how many we have right now, but there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, I'd say. Maybe, maybe more. <laughs> so we've got about double here, you guys. So I, if I wanted to get rid of some, I'd have to, uh, I'd have to kill about half of them. Throw more of them inside the incinerator, I assume, huh? Oh yeah, we've got a spot here. Ooh. Hmm. Where should I see? I don't know. Do I want to move them over here to the overgrowth area where, because they eat meat, the mosaic slimes or, or uh, the saber slimes? Or do I want to move them over there? There, where do they have the parsnips that are growing? Like we've got an empty slot right here where we could put some chickens. Hmm, man, I don't know. I just don't think we're getting that many chickens here, you know? Of course, these guys already eat meat. There's, uh, I'm so stumped on what I should do here. Yeah, these guys are... Uh, I guess I can grab a couple chickens. Well, the, I've got a full inventory, so I can't throw any chickens there, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, I've got a bunch of Q-berries and poker fruit and stuff like that. I need to go throw them over here and actually take use of them. Yeah, I did get some comments saying that, like, for one incinerator, all you really need is just one plot uh, for a garden, and that's basically it. So we have a little bit more over here than we need. Perhaps I can get rid of the uh, the, the puddle slime area over here, because we already have puddle slimes over here. We can probably put a second uh, incinerator over here. That would be pretty good, you guys. And apparently we could have like up to 10 of these guys per area, so that would be good. I think there's already a lot of ash here, so yep, there you go. Let's, let's just feed this up with a little bit of water just in case that guy's not working. I'm like, he's sleeping. Maybe maybe he just got done working. Who knows? This one over here is working, which is good. See, I, I, I guess I'll just throw the poker fruit over here. I don't think it's helping out, though. They've already got plenty of ash, and they're already making some ports and stuff like that that are going to get collected, you know? So 
like, man, I don't know. And you can't sell them on the port market, unfortunately, because they're not ports. <laughs> so I guess I'll sell them here or throw them here. Or I guess I can throw them to other stuff. And like, I just want to get stuff out of my inventory because I have so much already. <laughs> there you go. Well, let's just go back. I really do need to figure out where I'm going to put these guys. The Mosaic Saber Largo. Because I'm not going to keep them over here because they don't eat fruit. And I do want to get a Saber Slime because that's the only way you can get them is get by getting a Largo. You can't get a regular version of it, you know? Hmm. I guess we can keep it in here temporarily. We've got five. And then every now and then I guess I can bring some Silver Parsnips over here, maybe? I'm like, it's so weird because it'd be the only thing that's not a fruit eater over here, you know? We just don't have room over here. Should I test it out like you guys were commenting, let, letting the phosphor ones loose inside of here, basically? And then they could just eat out of the farms on their own. And then if we do that, we could actually move the saber mosaic guys into there. Huh. Let's try that out. I guess we could try that out and see how that does. Because we've never had... Oh, jeez, what in the world's happening here? We've, we've never had... Just wild, loose slimes before. Except for, I guess, the wild ones that were out in the wild earlier on, like episode one or something like that, so nothing too crazy there, but, uh, no real ones escaped? Okay, I don't think any real ones escaped right there, which is good, but I don't know why there's so many lemons and stuff like that just scattered all over the place. It's crazy. Is this, is this full or something? What? It is. The drone isn't doing his job. This is completely full of plorts. Look at all this. There you go. Get a bunch of Q berries there. Oh, yeah, I can give Q berries to the, uh, to the phosphor guys over here, which is good. So... I guess we could just move them out of there, put the mosaic slimes inside of there, and then see how that does. Well, I guess if anything, they're going to be leaving ports all over the place. But we do have a dr oh yeah, our, the drone that's over here to pick up ports. He's only picking up ports from port collectors, so yep. I don't know. I don't think it's that good of an idea, at least for these guys. Man, I'm so conflicted right now. Man, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think I'm just going to move it back over there. At least for right now. We can move it a little bit later. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Where should I put these mosaic saber largos that we're going to be making? I guess I'll just put them right here. I just can't make my mind up. So you know what? Let's turn them into largos here. Boom. Oh, whoa, whoa. The mosaic saber largo guy looks so weird. Here, give them some ports. And we have one more there. That's not a largo yet. Where is he? There he is. What, what, these guys are like able to breathe fire or something like that? What is happening in there? <laughs> I don't know. We've got Mosaic Plort and Saber Plort, which is good. Oh man, we already have a few, um, oh, oh, oh yeah, you can't directly deposit those into there, so. And the, there you go. So yeah, they eat meat, meat and veggies, which means we need to go over here and manually get the Silver Parsnips every now and then. Or I guess if anything, we could, uh, I was about to say, set up a drone that automatically delivers from there all the way over there, but we can't get another one over here because we already have two drones. So unless we get the advanced drone you guys were talking about, I don't think it's possible to do that, you guys. So that sucks. Yep. Oh, we're getting a lot of money. That's good. All right, well, I guess we'll have to keep it as is right now. And we can get all these silver parsnips right here. Load up their auto feeder, and that's going to be good. I do want to go back to the silver, uh, or uh, the glass desert, though, and explore it a little bit more. We only got about halfway, and we saw two slime key doors that we could open up. We do have one slime key, so don't quite know which one I'm going to be opening just yet, honestly. Like... <laughs> Maybe the one that's where the fountain was. Maybe that's a pretty good one we can test out. Oh, we have some carrots up here. Yeah, I definitely need to do some uh, some stuff with the pink slimes. I did get some comments if you guys say I need to do some more stuff over there with the pink slimes. Like, we do have a lot of empty plots over there, which makes sense. You know, I could I could move the mosaic slimes over there and then grow their silver parsnips over there. I could do that. Hmm. That's a big ol' hmm. Maybe I'll end up doing that. that. That's probably the best course of action, at least for right now, you know? So there you go, a bunch of silver parsnips in there. Let's put some more over here, boom. Well, I guess we can grow them, uh, you know what, I guess I can grow, grab one, and then we can move it over there. And then what, what else are we going to put over there, though? Like, we have two farms. Well, I guess if anything, we could move the pink slimes over there, maybe? I suppose we could do that. Because I'm like, I'm not feeding them, like, at all. <laughs> well, they've got carrots inside here, which is good. They're already eating out of that, so put some more carrots up inside of here. I suppose we can grow some uh, silver parsnips over here, and I guess we can move the mosaics over here. So that would be good. And you know what? I do want to move or command one of my drones. Uh, garden, there you go. I do want to command one of my drones over in the main area to actually sell the plorts, because we have so many, so it doesn't make sense to, uh, there you go. Let's just give it everything, because we got the money. There you go. It doesn't really, oh, whoops. I bought the scare slime right there, I accidentally double clicked it <laughs> and accidentally bought one right there, so that sucks. But not that big of a deal, I suppose. 
Oh yeah, you know what? While we're over here, I did also get some comments of you guys saying, yeah, if you actually build a, an apiary, a drill, and a pump in the glass desert, you're supposed to get some special stuff, which is good. We do have an extra drone right now we can use, which is awesome. Definitely want to try that out. Market link. Oh yeah, we're still missing the royal jelly. I can go check up on that. But uh, advanced drill. Yep, we can make that. Advanced pump. Yes. Advanced apiary. We're missing some honey plorts. Okay. So grab some honey plorts, I suppose. We can go put these up yep, inside the refinery. There you go. And yeah, while we're over here, I guess we can command that drone that's that's collecting plorts and putting them up inside the silo. We can go tell him to actually sell them over at the market. Well, I guess if anything, does he know that that's a market thing over there? Because uh, I think I'm only able to tell these guys to go yeah, silos. Oh, no, it just says port market. I thought it had to be a uh, market link or whatever, but no, it, just, it says port market. So I guess that encompasses either this or market links, which is good. So hopefully we're going to get a bunch of money out of these guys. So that's good. But I just have so much like look at this 300 plus there, 300 plus there. <laughs> We've got so much and we have another and we can hold 100 ports at, at a time right now. So, you know what? Let's grab 100 honey ports. Go put them up over there in the refinery and get ourselves a couple apiaries. And hey, let's go check up on those. Oh, you know what? Should we make a teleport to the uh, to the moss blanket? You know, I'm kind of wanting to because it's a little bit of a hassle because we to get there right now. We go to either the Tabby Gordo teleport that's right here, and then we have to go across all this trash on it. There you go, boom. Or we go to our pink teleport that's over here in the ancient ruins, and then we go all the way down, and then go all around, and then boom. Kind of want to put a, a pink teleport, or like a, a gray tele a teleport or something like that. Put that over here. You know what? Let's do that. That'll save us a lot of time, but of course, uh, oh yeah, we're heading over here, and then we can make the apiaries, and we can go check up on them, and hopefully we'll be able to actually... Uh, make a teleport or a, uh, an apiary to put over in the glass desert and see what we're going to get. Hopefully he's something good. And then, hey, while we're over in the moss blanket, let's go check up on those apiaries. See if we have any royal jelly, because if we do, that means we can make another market link. And we'll have a market link in basically every uh, area, which is awesome. Let's go over here. Let's check up on the apiary. Advanced. There we go. Boom. And... Oh, I'm missing pink plorts, really? I'm like, there's a few in here. I guess I'll grab those up. Yep. But I can't make any more apiaries after this. I think the apiaries I have in the moss blanket, I think they still have a few more uses. I think I've only ever harvested from them, like, maybe once or twice. I know at least once, maybe twice. So, <laughs> I don't think they're going to break down just yet, but I guess we can go over there and check real quick. Uh, but we do have sufficient things, like a drill, a pump, and all that kind of stuff. I guess we can just go place them down over here and get a head start. So, oh, jeez. Yeah, okay, so now we're in the glass desert. Here's the big old bubbles that we spawned in last episode with the, the farms or, or uh, the fountain. So that's really cool. Now, something you guys did say was that inside of here, inside of these bubbles, is where we could find the prickle pears. And apparently, yes, they are safe from... Oh, what in the world? We have a tar? Oh, whoa, whoa, I knew that was going to happen. This is very tar dangerous in here, you guys. We need to be very careful. We have a huge mixture of... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the world is that? Oh, yeah, this is a hat right there. Oh, no, he turned into a slot or a tar. A tar slime. Man. Yeah, we just got a lot of plorts just laying around. Just a bunch of tars waiting to happen. Where are they? We've got tar. Oh, there, there it is. Get it, get it. How did I splash it right there? What? But yeah, I need to keep my eyes peeled because apparently there are trees over here, prickle pears. But I'm not seeing anything. Like, these are like giant pineapple looking things here. I'm not seeing any prickle pears or anything like that. It seems to be like a coconut or something like that from that. Or maybe there's just not any in here. Let's go to this other bubble. Check up on this one. Oh, a few more mosaics. Perfect. So we have a... Uh, I think we have five at home, so that means... I thought I could suck that thing up, but I guess not. I think we have five at home, so that means we're up to like seven right now, right? So that's cool. Oh, a couple more uh, mosaics. Let's get about... I'd say ten. Even though I literally just earlier said, Oh yeah, we should keep ourselves limited to like six Largos. So we have five at home. Okay, so we're at nine right now. Okay, that's, that's probably more than enough right now, honestly. But I'm not seeing the prickle pears here. I'm not seeing what tree it could be, though. You guys did say it's it kind of like the pogo fruit or something like that. Where it, like, grows in the tree. And you get to harvest it. I guess it's kind of like the cuberry, too. And it's not... And it has nothing to do with these, apparently. I was kind of wondering, like, while editing the video, like... Do these things turn into those 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 tangle slides whenever they get encompassed by the big bubble? But no, they don't, because these were like outside the uh, the area. Or maybe they did. I think there was another one that was like right. No, no, no. Here it is, right here. Hmm. But we do have a tar over here. I can hear it. Where is it? I don't know. But we have a pink dervish slime right there, Largo. See, I don't know where it is. And we, oh yeah, we have painted hens over here too. Oh yeah, we have painted hens at home. We don't need to get that. 
There's another, uh, I love the Nebula skin for the Dervish, the Dervish one, you guys. It's really, really cool. And then, yeah, up here we do have another teleport. This one goes straight up home. Oh, yeah, there's, uh, God, I left some stuff behind. Dur yeah, sure, get rid of a Dervish floor. We already have Dervish at home, so not that big of a deal right now. I'm still not seeing the Prickle Pear, though. Like, maybe, maybe I just need to be a little bit more thorough. Mm, see, I'm not seeing it. Let's go to the other one, though. And then, yeah, there's apparently there's going to be more of these things all around the map in the glass desert that we have to actually... Oh, yeah, let's place down the, the pumps and stuff like that over here. So we can actually start, like, pumping and drilling and, and catching things in the apiaries and stuff like that, right? So, uh... I guess I'll place one right here. Advanced, uh... Ape. Wait, why can't I place an... Oh, we have six apiaries already? Oh, it's... Okay, it's for the whole map. You can only place down six. Ooh. Well, that sucks. Okay, let's, let's do that. We have a drill there, so that's good. So I guess we need to actually go over to... Oh, hold on. Yeah, we have that enabled. So where are other places I can go? But yeah, we have to go over to the Moss Blanket. Hopefully one or two of those are going to break down. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's more. But it's kind of far away, though. I don't want it to be too far away or else I'll forget about it. So... I go over there. Okay, yeah, let's place one here, I suppose. Let's do pump, and I can't place an apiary here because I've already got six in the entire map and it's not going to let me do it, so that sucks. Well, let's go over here. Let's go see if we have any... Of those trees, or uh, what are they called? Oh man, a bunch of rock slime. Oh yeah, we need to get a bunch of rock ports. Cause, oh jeez. Okay, let's just boom slime down there. I thought it was a, a tar, but I guess not. That's good. Yeah, I'm looking right now and I am not seeing. Yeah, we have another fountain right here. Yeah, apparently we're going to find more of these things. I can't grab, yeah, I can't grab that back. <laughs> yeah, we're going to find more of those things. And I think we already saw some earlier. Like two episodes ago or something like that. So we need to keep our eyes peeled for that. Definitely want to keep some rock plorts in our inventory. And yeah, I'll probably end up opening either this door or the one that's over here. Probably this one, honestly. But it looks like it might go into an area that's already locked. Or another locked area. And this one might go around to, like, here, maybe? I don't know. Maybe they both go to the same area. And it doesn't really matter which one you do, because it'll go to the same area either way. I have, to, I have to think about that. Yeah, I am not seeing this prickle pear here, you guys. At all. Maybe it's going to be a little bit deeper in the glass desert or something. But I am not seeing it here at all, which sucks. But I guess for right now, we'll just, let's just go home. I guess we can place down the, uh... What in the... How did this get over here? Is that the Tangle Slime doing that? I bet it's the Tangle Slime doing that. <laughs> let's place down the, uh... Here it is right here. Mark, uh, refinery link. There you go. Then we'll put the Buzz Wax, the Jelly Stone, the Primordy Oil. There you go. Put those up. And pick a bite. Uh, pick it back up. There you go. Yeah, I definitely do want to do more decoration stuff like that. But, let's see. Let's do a teleport here. Can I do that? No, I can't. Oh, yeah, what am I missing to do the other teleport? Like the gray one? Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, yeah, and then we have mosaic. Let's get a couple more of these guys in here. Boom. There you go. I guess we can grab some plorts from over here. Yep. There you go. And hopefully they're going to turn into some Largos. Man, they already have a lot of... Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. And I think that's it. Oh, jeez, explosions and stuff going off. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing any more here. So I think we're good. These guys have a skin? Like, it really seems like they have a, a big sparkly skin there. I don't, I don't know if that's like their natural look or whatever. Oh yeah, you know what? I did also get some comments from you guys saying, yeah, you only need, only need three gilded ginger to make this guy explode. So hopefully we can find some more of that over in the, uh, the glass desert. That's going to be really good. But we need to wait a little while until we actually uh, find those because apparently they're supposed to be really rare. Now, let's go over here. Oh, man, $2,000 right there. Nice. Yeah, ho hopefully we're going to get a lot more money here. Now that we actually set the other one up to uh, to sell. Plorts on the port market and stuff like that. So what were the other ones? What do those other guys eat? Oh, yeah, the prickle pear and I think meat, right? Yeah, because it, 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 the favorite thing was like paint and hens or something like that for the Gordo last episode. So I suppose we just grab any sort of berry and put it over here because these guys, I, I could already see a few of them aren't like fully. OK, there you go. Fully satisfied, I guess you could say. Oh, get out of there before I start taking damage. <laughs> All right, let's start feeding these guys. Boom. Not their favorite food, but it is food. So there you go. Hopefully you're going to be happy with that. And they're not going to try and escape because you do not want to upset the tangles. There you go. There you go. Ah, I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. Man, that was crazy. What is happening here? Someone is not doing their job at all. Look at this. How long has this been? Hold on. I bet the, I bet the drone needs water. That's, that's probably why it's not doing anything. Oh, yeah. You know what? Because we've been doing a lot of busy work today, 
I did, I did get some comments from you guys because I asked it last episode, like, hey, do you guys want to actually see me do the busy work, or would you rather I cut it out of the video? Because usually I cut that stuff out of the video because, you know, it's boring, repetitive stuff. And I'm actually surprised a lot of you guys want me to continue doing the busy work on camera, so I guess this is good that I'm doing this on camera, right? <laughs> That's good. You know, every, every now and then we do need to always come home, do some busy work, especially after doing a lot of exploration and stuff like that. This guy need water. He does. I knew it. Boom. There you go. <laughs> I bet his friend over here needs it, too. Uh, yep. Ah, oh, man. We need to get a drone that, <laughs> that fills up water for all the other drones, and that's basically his only job. <laughs> that's what we should do. <laughs> Either way, I guess we can sell the, uh, the plorts right here and get a little bit of money out of it, so, uh, let's go sell it over here in the plort market. Oh, man, the, uh, mosaic plort right there, 74? Not bad. Tangle? Yeah, Tangle's 86 right there, too. Ooh. And, of course, 342 for the gold slime one. Hopefully, we're gonna get a lot of those. Whatever we actually get the uh, this guy exploded. Who knows when that's gonna happen? How are there? <laughs> I thought that was... I thought that was a poop from this guy, but no, it was just phase lemons or something like that. Or one phase lemon, that is. Let's keep feeding these guys some food. There you go. Just because why not? And are these guys finally, uh... Oh, gosh. They already have a bunch of plorts just sitting there. Jeez. Oh, man, we're gonna get a bunch of 21s right there. Hey, it's my favorite number. Oh, yeah, you know what? Speaking of, uh... Teleports and stuff like that that I wanted to do over in the moss blanket. Let's go. Let's go see. What do we need for the gray? Oh, wow. These are already like basically ready to be harvested. Holy heck. That's good. Yeah, I need to move them over here to be quite honest. That's going to be a lot better. And we do have a drone over here, so we could put them here. Then I guess carrots or something like that here. And that's going to be for the pink signs. But yeah, yeah, you know, we need to use this area. So I guess we'll set up a corral here and then I'll move them off camera. You know, busy work. That's like that. I'll cut that out of the video, but you know, stuff that air in it, yes. I want to make sure I get the right thing, because I don't think you have an air in it and a solar shield at the same time. Can you? Yeah, you can't uninstall that. You, it, it seems like you, maybe you can. I'm like, why, why is it giving me the option to have that if I can't have the solar shield here along with the air in it? Hmm. Interesting. Well, either way, let me just go over here. Let's go grab the other silver parsnips. <laughs> Let's grab these things. I guess we can place down a drone that's going to hopefully, you know, feed these guys over here. So uh, silver parsnips. Let's put these over here in the auto feeder thing, which is right here. I don't know why it's in such a weird place, but there you go. There you go. And set up a drone here because we do have an extra drone somewhere. So uh, let's do it right. Yeah, let's do it right here. There you go. Set it right here. Drone. And this one. Oh, whoops. We can command him to target uh, vegetables, yes. Actually, you know what? Because this is very specific, let's go to silver parsnip. Because who knows what else we're going to grow here. Silver parsnip from the gardens and put it in the auto feeders. Yes, activate. And I guess it's not that bad because, you know, we'll have both the mosaic guys over here and the pink ones. So hopefully the pink ones are going to get a little bit of a food out of that. So that's going to be good. I guess we can grow like... I don't know, poke of fruit or something like that there. That'll be fine. But let me move over the uh, the mosaic slimes over there. It shouldn't be too hard, so. Let me just move them over there. Mosaic uh, saber largos, that's what they are. Then if we have enough resources, I guess we can get another drone. Set that thing up to actually collect the plorts. And I guess put it inside of the refinery or something. Uh, either that or maybe we could put a silo in that third spot. And then I could just decide, okay, do I want to put this stuff in the refinery? Do I want to sell it or what? You know, kind of leave it up to me, you know? That seems up more uh, more up my alley, but let me continue moving these mosaic slimes over and see you guys here in just a bit once they're fully moved over. All right, guys, I am back. All the uh, mosaic saber largos are over here now, which is good. We've already got all their parsnips over here, and uh, I even put some parsnips from the other area, the other garden over here. So we're up to 42 right there, which is 21 times 2, of course. There's that number again. <laughs> Maybe I'll just come up with ways for 21 to keep following me around. Who knows? So spiral stream and then one more indigonium that we're missing right now. Ooh. All right. Well, you know what? Let's go check up on the pumps. Let's go check up on the drills, apiaries, all that kind of... I think we have a little bit of everything over here in the uh, indigo quarry. Almost called it indigo plateau again. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm always thinking about Pokemon or something like that randomly. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys want me to do a Pokemon series on the channel randomly? Because I haven't done one in forever. Who knows? Maybe we should- Oh, jeez! Yo, yeah, we just needed one more indigonium, and then boom. It gave me that indigo- Hey, look at that! You more jelly stone, even though I don't need that trash. I think these are drills over here, too. Yeah, so we're gonna get the same stuff, so it's just gonna stack up, which is good. Oh, man, the drills are all over with there. Ooh. Eight more indigonium, jelly stone, and, uh, I think- What is this? Are these both apiaries? Let me see, are we gonna get any royal jelly from these? No, and no. Okay. 
Uh, do we have another one over here somewhere? I feel like I might have placed one. No, we never play. Okay. Yeah, I need I need to find more of those treasure cracker things. Uh, we need to place down the. I guess we'll place it over here. Let's see. There it is. Let's get the refiner link. There you go. And uh, hopefully the pumps, like in front of our base, the drive reef pumps are going to give us a spiral stream or whatever that is. That's going to be great. So, unfortunately, didn't get any bee or uh, royal honey right there that we're going to need for a market link, but not that big of a deal, I suppose. Hopefully we're going to get one over in the, uh, the glass desert. I don't know if it's done by now. I doubt it. I doubt it's been like 12 minutes or something like that since we last, uh, since we laid them down. But I, I maybe, I guess we can go check up on them and, and see how they're doing, I suppose. Let's go out in front of our base zone, check up on the, uh, the dry reef pumps and see. Do we have five spiral stream things over there? And if so, hey, that means we can actually get the gray teleporters, set those up, one over here in our base, like right here, and the other end over in the moss blanket, and then I guess we can go to pretty much every biome pretty swiftly, which is going to be great. So let's go check up on these over here. Yep, these are all dancing and ready to go. So I don't know what color those were. I guess I'll just uh, activate each and every one of them here. And then they're like, oh, they, they, they are right there, right there. We got one spiral stream right there, I believe. There's two. So we got two out of five. I don't think we got any right there. Yeah, we only have two. Man, that sucks. So we're going to get some more pumps. Uh, hopefully we're going to get some more spiral stream out of those pumps. We only need three more of those, and then we can make the gray teleporter. So that kind of sucks. Man, I guess we can go check them on the... Uh, Oh uh, yeah, you know what? We need to do this, and then we'll do this. Man, I love doing this, by the way. So much easier. Thank you guys very much for the multiple pe people that said to do this like two, three, four episodes ago or something like that. To use these these different links and just pick them up, or, you know, place them down, pick them up, and all that kind of jazz. Just go over here and see, are these done yet? Uh, oh, they are! What in the world? That was fast. Whoa, what is that? Glass shard? Ooh, a solid fragment of frozen fire. Ooh. What is this? Oh, one spiral stream right there. Cool. Oh, yeah, I can't pick that up. Uh, I can't place them down anywhere. Here we go. I need to place down another. See, them. once again, we're using it again, the refinery link. <laughs> this is so good here, you guys. So we got glass shards. I wonder what we use those for. Primordial oil. Let's go over here. Let's go pick up the uh, other stuff. There you go. The spiral. Oh, whoa. Silky sand. So we got two new things over here. Glass shard and Silky Sand, both from the Glass Desert, just like you guys said, saying that uh, there's going to be exclusive stuff whenever you used to pump or the apiary or whatever else. Yeah, and of, uh, of course we can't use the apiaries just yet. Apiary, oh yeah, oh, you know what? Let's go over to the Moss Blanket. Let's go see if those apiaries are going to hopefully give us... There you go. Hopefully they're going to give us a... Royal, or uh, yeah, Royal Jelly. And if not, hopefully, uh... What is this sound? Is that a, is there a tar around here? Okay, I, th I think I keep getting distracted by that tar music. I think a tar was over here and that music was just kind of carrying over <laughs> Like it was kind of spooking me out a little bit there Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Oh, are there any prickle pears here? Ah, see, I'm not seeing them now Man, I need to get oh, yeah, you know what? Let's go home. Let's go grab the other uh, rock Ports we need to use those for more stuff. So, uh I don't know, get like yeah, 20 of them or something like that. I don't know how many more of these, but uh, oh, there you go. Hey, look at that 21. <laughs> Got that number back, you guys. Golly, that number keeps following me all over the place. So let me go over to the to the moss blanket area where we have our four something like that apiaries that we have. Maybe more. Oh, yeah, we have two apiaries in the indigo quarry. That means we have four over here because we hit that sixth limit, didn't we? Yeah. So that makes sense. Uh, then hopefully at least one of these or maybe all of them are going to break down because we've used them three times. Then uh, we'll be able to place down an apiary in the glass desert and see what we're going to get out of that. So that's going to be good. Yep, these are ready. Yep, just re regular old wild honey there. Okay, that broke down. That's good. That's good. So let's get the refinery link. Boom. And uh, let's go all the other ones because these are just going to have the same stuff over and over, right? Yep, wild honey and beeswax or buzzwax there. And there's an yep, another one over here. So that's two down. What is this? Oh, those are plorts. Yep, same stuff there. Hexacomb, Buzzwax, Wild Honey, and there's one up here. Yeah. So this is going to be number five. Oh, man! Ah, yeah, I don't have enough stamina. <laughs> I need to wait until we have enough stamina. Here we go. Did I say there's number five? This is going to be number four. So, let's check up on this. No Royal Jelly! Come on! Man, how do we get a random Royal Jelly that was, like, sitting, like, right here, like, out in the open, and then we don't get any from the apiaries? Man, that sucks. All right, well, at least we got more wild honey. I believe we need, like, 
like six or something like that in order to get a drone. So that's good. So we could actually make more drones, stuff like that. And hey, look at that. Now the apiaries are... Oh yeah, do we have any extra apiary? Oh, we only have one. Yeah, you know what? Let's go to the glass desert. Let's go place down the other apiary. And I need to make even more apiaries. We have more over here in the moss blanket. And then... Oh, I thought there was a treasure cracker. Yeah, we need to keep our eyes peeled. I don't think we've seen like any treasure, like pods, in the glass desert like at all yet, right? Maybe one I'm just forgetting about or something like that. But let's just head back home. Let's go to the other teleporter. Let's go and take us to the glass desert. Place down this other apiary. There you go. And then go over here. Look at how handy these teleporters are, you guys. It's crazy. So where was I going to place this? I uh, guess here if we're going to stay in a line. So yeah, there you go. Apiary. Boom. So that's good. Now, where do I... Oh, is this open? Oh, I thought I needed... Didn't I need a key to go? No. Oh, no, the, yeah, that's that thing that it revealed the whole... Okay, here's where I needed the key, yeah. You know what? Let's open up this. Am I going to regret this? I hope not. Let's open it. Yeah, let's open it. Let's open up this one. Because it looks like over here is going to make... Like, maybe take us there, and then maybe I'm going to need another key to get through that, or something. I don't know. Let's just do it. Boom, slime key opening up this door. Let's see what's behind door number one. Or ten or so. Oh gosh, feral slimes. Oh, hey, a secret skin there. Well, I don't know what food I'm going to need to feed these guys to make sure they don't heck and kill me, so. Let's see what's over here, though. Oh, oh, boom. Rock ferals. Is that what the prickle pear is? Oh, I think it is. That's probably what you guys meant. Hold on. Those trees that are just randomly out in the open like that. Oh, these are chickens. That's probably what you guys meant by, oh, it's like a pogo fruit tree or something like that. Not that it's like in a tree like a pogo fruit because that's like literally every fruit tree, I guess. <laughs> so it's not being, being very specific, is it? Was that a Gordo back there? I can't tell. Because there's like a giant, th oh, it must be more of those statues we need to give things to, right? Hold on. What is it? Oh no, it's a mosaic. Oh man, I need to get mosaic. Well, we have mosaic plorts. We can go home, we can go grab them. Let's see what skin this is. This is probably for the mosaic. It's, yeah, that's for the mosaic, because it's got that little kissy face there. <laughs> I was wondering, like, what in the world is it? I guess it's like glass? Oh, another thing here. Ooh. So yeah, we, we do the... Oh, oh, oh. Activate that. Oh, there's a tier three right there. Activate that fountain, or activate that, and probably two others, which one of them's like right here. Yeah, one's right there. Third one was like above, it looked like, right? Yep, there it is right there. So I need to get up there somehow, and then there. Okay, you know what? Ah, falling down! Purple. Let's see what's inside of this. Hopefully the loot doesn't splash out into the water. Oh, it's a palm sprout. Ooh, okay. We got ourselves a little uh, decoration. Okay, so there's the fountain. Let's see. Yep. One, two, three. Yep, another three that I need to do here. Now I activate that fountain. It's going to give us the ancient water. Then we can splash on the the... the it looks like there's two plants above us. Okay, this is how we get out of here. Interesting. Let's see. Because there's... Is there three here? Oh, there's one here. And I thought I saw another... Yeah, here's another one. So it's going to be like a little bit of an overlap between the two. So we know where all three are. We just need to go home, grab the uh, the mosaic plorts from our base. Let's, let's wait until our stamina goes up. And then we can go fly across over there without falling into the ocean and dying. So, let's wait until it's basically full. Hey, there you go. I think it was 250 there for a second. Okay, that's good. So, we're back up here. So, I think this tree, surely it's this type of tree that has the prickle pear, right? It's just that that one doesn't have it. That, I am sure that's what you guys mean. In the world? Why does that have eyes? Why does that thing have eyes? That is so spooky. Like, with the mouth and stuff. Ugh. Okay, that's the end of feral slimes here, I guess. Why is that like the only cactus we've seen that has like eyes? Yeah, see, this one doesn't have it. Ooh, that's so spooky. Oh, there's another flower thing now. Oh yeah, we saw, yeah, see, we saw so many of those flower things before. We just need to keep our eyes peeled to see like where the different like statues are that we need to give the respective, respective plort to, to like activate them, you know, to get the ancient water and then we could activate them. I think I fell down somewhere. I shouldn't, uh... Oh, wait, no, here's a way out. Or way up or something. Where does this go? Well, it's good that that, that key wasn't, like, 
Oh, hey, another treasure pod thing. It's good that that key wasn't like wasted and it was like, oh, you need another slime key to go. Oh, a cocoa slime lamp? That's really cool. Pretty delicious, I bet, too. Let's see, what's up here? Oh, there's a crate. It's actually where you need to go. Yeah, there's nothing else there. I think there's a fire event going on outside, though. What in the world? Oh, yeah, parsnips right there. Poke fruit and a phosphor slime randomly. <laughs> good thing I picked up that phosphor slime. Because if he was out in the sunlight, he'd be a gunner by now. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? Is that... Is that lava? What is that? Or is it sand? I don't know. Very hard to tell in here, you guys. Whoa. Oh, fire. So is there a go to... Oh, there they are. There's the prickle pear thing. No, those things are eating the prickle pear. There we go. Finally, we got them. See, that's what you guys are talking about. They grow in the trees like that. I, I guess not in the oasis or something like that. Why am I reading? I must be mixing up comments or something like that. Like, I get so many helpful comments of you guys. I start mixing them up and then start, like, assuming things. Are these wild parsnips here? They are. What in the world? No! Stop eating them! Man! Ah, well, at least they're giving me plorts and stuff like that. Oh, you know what? Yeah, if we get the parsnips, I can just feed it to the... And what is this? Is that a, uh... The little nebula guy over here? I forgot what he was called. This guy. What does he eat again? I forget. Fruit, I think. Yeah, he eats the prickle pear. So you know what? Boom. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I need to keep the prickle pear so I can grow it at home. Ah. Oh, wait. No, no, no. There we go. We got the dervish plort anyways. Good. Another one right here. Perfect. So we have two of those. We're probably going to need three. So we already have two out of the three dervish plorts. Uh, I think I'm a little... Oh, man. There's two H's right here. Ooh, and there's like a puzzle set over here. You know what? I'm going to ignore that for right now. Let's just ignore this. Where is this on the map, by the way? Oh, jeez. This is like the end of the area here. What in the world? <laughs> I didn't even notice I was like this far over here. So hold on. Let's see if we can find some more dervish plorts just sitting around over here. Thankfully, we got a prickle pair. Like, look at that prickle tree right there with the thorns and stuff coming out of it. You'd think it'd come out of the, uh, the cactus, but I guess that'd be a little bit too easy there, huh? The guy's just kind of spinning around having fun, I suppose. Want to, yeah, see, I, okay, I guess it's the ocean. I guess it's not, like, lava or something like that, huh? So that's cool. And what was over here? What in the world? Ha oh, yeah, because I, I was about to say, what in the world? The foster son just disappeared, but yeah, he's out in the sunlight, so he just disappeared like that, so... That makes sense. Yeah, okay, so yeah, that works. Dervish port there, boom. Looks like we could do a little bit of parkour here. There you go. Oh, this is probably where the other ones are, right? I bet. Oh, wait, another prickle pair. Oh, perfect. Man, see, yeah, I knew it was going to be a little bit deeper into here. So let's give this guy one, and then we should get two dervish boards, and that's going to be enough. To, there you go. Boom, and boom. We have one of these things that we can actually feed the ancient water. What if we actually feed all of the, uh, the statues or stuff? Uh, pretty good bird's eye view here, though. Oh, there's an H up there. Oh, there's like a secret skin up there, too. Where is this? So hold on, it, it, over here, I think, was where the key was that we needed, like right here, because this is all like in the cave. So I guess if anything, it, it, we have access to the whole area here. Yeah, I feel like either way we went, we would have had access to the whole area, I assume. So let's see, there's like a giant. Oh, that's what this is. This is like a crystallized mosaic slime that like interfered with like a fire that was coming out of the ground and like crystallized it. I assume that's what it is, because. The thing we saw earlier was like a crystal shard or something like that, fire shard or something, I forget. It said something about fire, we need to read the Slimepedia, but we got a secret skin right there, Nightshade, ooh! See, I like that, that looks really cool. Oh yeah, what are the mosaics, because we got their secret skin, I, I haven't seen any yet. Going on down there. I guess it's the other side of the other, uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, where, wh yeah, where am I? I'm very confused. Oh, oh, there's another crate. See, I'm just trying to find the little statues because we have enough stuff. We have enough dervish plorts. Oh, silver parsnips there. Let's get some of those and then we can give them to the uh, mosaic slimes. We can get a lot of plorts from them because I believe we need mosaic plorts for... Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, it's just a random statue there. It's not an actual... Oh, wait, what, where is this? I am so confused. Wait, what? Okay, so this is that island over there. That we need the mosaics uh, plorts for. This I do not remember at all. 
few more of these crystal things here. I am extremely distracted, you guys. I have like... <laughs> oh, this is... Okay, yeah. We're Now we're in the above area. Yeah, because I remember all those chicken little nests down there. There's a boom slime. Boom, boom like rock largo up there. I need to be very careful of him. But I just want to see... Are there, oh man, then there's a prickle pear at the end right there. Yeah, see, look at that. The prickle pears are starting to grow out of that. Oh, they were already down here. Oh no, get them out, get them out, get them out. Ah, oh, they're exploding. Oh, well, I could feed them and they won't explode and attack me or anything like that. But I have to do it to all of them, but I'm not going to do that, obviously. Oh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything else around here. See, what is happening with this? This is so spooky. Ugh. Like, it's just, it just makes me uncomfortable just looking at that. Ugh. So this is where this is. Huh? Is there a gold Is there a gold slime or a lucky slime or something like that here? Like above me or something? You guys hear you guys hear that jingling too, right? Hold on. We need to get up. We need to get up. Do not fall over any of these traps, because I know there's a little holes in the ground here. Let's wait until we have enough stamina, then we'll jump. Okay, you could just yeah, you could just jump here. You don't even need the jetpack at all. Whew. There we go. All right, so now, yeah, see, there is the prickle pear, the one that we actually got our first prickle pears out of. So that means... And the first statue was, like, somewhere over here. So that means... Well, look at that more car stuff right there. That's good, that's good. Here's the first one. Yeah, the other ones must be in this area, then. But I just don't know where. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Hold on, they've... Uh, no. There's like, it looks like an old plot from a rancher. It's just not being used anymore, you know? Hmm. Very intriguing. Let's get up a little bit, I suppose. Go up here, and I guess we could read this. Yeah, I'll see that. Yeah, we're already down there. Let's read this H from Hobson here. Must have been one heck of a scorcher that caused these glass formations. They always looked like flames to me. Yeah, see, look at that. I just, he even said it looks like fire, too. Like a great firestorm covered this land before being frozen in time. Ooh. Then again, maybe these are flames burning away, but at a pace we can't even perceive. Ooh. Maybe they're just burning in super slow motion. Interesting. Perhaps this desert has two different types of time, two different times overlapping one another, and we're here stuck in the middle of it. Wouldn't that just be wild? That would make sense. Because we we came here because of the quantum ports. Uh, there are like two different ports that are in the different areas at the same time, and there's like weird quantum mechanics and stuff like that. Two big brain stuff for me to. Oh, there's a. Sta Is that a statue there? I'm, it might be. Hold on. Can we glide all the way over there? I think so. Boom. Oh, yeah, see now. Yeah, boom. There's the other one. So there's one, there's two. And where's the third? What is that glowing up there? I don't know. We're going to investigate that. Oh, man. We're above where that other area was. I'm not seeing another crystal thing here. Let's be on the other side over here or something like that, then. So if we get the ancient water here, I guess we could just... I'm going to get last 30 seconds. We could, oh, and then we have another H from Hobson. Let's see. Quite a sight to gaze upon. The sand sea... Sand sea? I knew that kind of looked like sand. That's so weird. A sand sea. Uh, no, I've scoured every corner of the desert, and everywhere I look, that sand sea stretches to the horizon. Makes you wonder just where the heck on the far, far range you are when the slime sea is nowhere to be found, yeah. Interesting, so instead of a slime sea, we have a sand sea over here. Ugh. Super strange. Let's see if we can find a, uh, a third dervish slime statue over here. That we can put this third plort into, and then, of course, activate. Oh, it's probably a fountain up here, actually. This is probably the fountain that you activate when we have all three of them. Whatever that weird glow was we saw. How do we get up there, though? Is this? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There's the fountain. Yeah, so all three. Yeah, okay, so these two are glowing because we already activated them. Then we're, there's one right there we're missing. But where is it? Oh, is that a giant silver parsnip? <laughs> It kind of looks like one, you gotta admit. Mm, I'm not seeing it right now. But thankfully, we have a pretty good vantage point right here, so hopefully, from up here, we can actually see where that third statue is. So there's one. There's a second. 
like right down here. And they shouldn't be too far away from each other. So that means... Oh, oh, oh. yeah, see, there's one there, two there. Is this third one like up there or something? Or maybe all the way over there? It can't be all the way over there, right? Maybe it is. If that's the case, how do I get over there? Maybe I can do it. Oh, 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 this is dangerous. 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 Ah! Well, it's not over here. But we did get a treasure pod. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Let's see what's inside of this thing. Coco teleporter. Well, hey, we got another color uh, of teleporter we can set up. We still still working towards the gray one. We still need a. Oh no! Oh. Well, oh, I already have a one dervish floor in my inventory, so it's not really that big of a deal if we lose that one, right? Where's the sand sea? Oh, wait. There's a bit down there. See, I'm not, even from this vantage, I am not seeing that statue at all. Let's go down here. Yep. And I love the spooky music that's going on in the background, too. Oh, it's another treasure pond. That's what it is. Yep. Let's see what we're going to get out of this. And how do we get out of here from here? I don't know. Berry slime lamp? A decorative lamp? I was a happy slime. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of here. I think I'm... I think I'm stuck. I really... I think I'm stuck. Unless... Uh, I can go around the edge there or something like that. I don't know. Um, how would you even know to come back here? I guess if you're over there, you'd know, huh? So... Uh, oh, man, I barely made this. How? How? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I thought that was a thing. No. Where is this last... Thing. I don't know. Well, is it over here? Oh, oh, what's this? Ah, nothing. Really nothing. Yeah, there's nothing around all this edge here. And then I'm just, oh. Yeah, and this is just the below part of that. Yeah, just, you know, just try and do a little bit of exploration over here, not getting that much done, honestly. <laughs> I guess I'll just do, oh, no, I don't have, oh. Oh, I had like no stamina there. I had like no stamina. I still made it. How? Oh man, that was crazy. Hold on, did I ever explore this? I do not know. Watch, it's up there, isn't it? Can I go up there? I don't know if I can. Uh, I can land here. Yeah, I can land here and then. Zip. Oh, another treasure pod. Ooh, let's see what's inside of this. If anything, at least we're getting a lot of treasure pods, which is good. Coil grass. Well, usually uh, the treasure pod is like next to the thing that we unlock, but I'm not seeing whatever this coil grass is. That's another thing we can splash. Well, if that's a thing we can splash and it's so nearby. Uh, I'm looking and I am not seeing any slimes that we could splash. Or hit with a dervish port, that is. Man, I must be blind as a egg at that. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm hearing that noise again. Oh, is that a... Uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on. It is another Gilded Ginger. You guys, I don't care about that. Boom, another Gilded Ginger. We just got it right there, you guys. That's what that was, and here's the whole house hearing it in. Oh, look at the little mosaic slimes. They're like all weird snow looking, or ice, or... Oh, they're like this. That's what they are. Oh, look at the tornado. Hold on. So we found that thing, which is crazy. We found, we actually found a Gilded Ginger before we found a third statue. Which is such a weird thing to say. Oh. Is that, oh, no it's not. I thought that was it right there, but no it's not. Man. Watch us up here, isn't it? Nope. Where in the world is this? Okay, for realsies, I'm gonna have to like cut the video, like, or cut this little clip right here. And then I'll have to try and find it, because I don't want to waste more on camera time here, you guys. I'm sorry if I'm waiting. Oh, is that it up there? No, that's a Gordo. That's some sort of Gordo up there, I think. Oh, jeez. Hold on, that's good to know. We found a Gordo there. Looking into that direction. Just don't have that much stamina, so I think that's a Gordo up there. I wish I could zoom in, but like the... If I did, it'd be everything's all wiggly and wavy right now, so you can't really see too well, but... Man... Let me just, let me just survive this fire event and let me try and find this third... thing. 
I'm like, I don't even have the port for it right now, but whatever. If I could just find out where it is, that's, that's not that big of a deal, because then I can find a port a little bit later. <laughs> Let me try and find this last statue here, you guys, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit, hopefully. I guess I am back. And yeah, that definitely looks like a Gordo up there. Like, look at that thing jiggling up there. Hold on. How do we, how do we get up there from here? I don't know. Uh, probably from over there. If that's the case, then... Hold on. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Gordo. That, that is a mosaic Gordo right there. So, if I wanted to go over there, I need to wait for my stammer to get it back up. And then we can give the mosaic eats parsnips, I think. So, I, I do have some silver parsnips on my in my inventory right now, which is good. Ah, there you go. Give it the parsnips. Hey, oh, he's blocking some area. What? Well, let's just give him a bunch right there. So, we gave him seven out of the, uh... What's back there? I don't know. Look at how weird he looks. I guess whenever you have a skin for a slime, because we've got like this weird like ice skin for the mosaics right now. I guess it doesn't translate over to the Gordo, but I did also finally, just in the core of my eye, I finally saw where I'm pretty sure the final Dervish Plort statue is. I'm pretty sure it's actually above <laughs> the fountain over here, you guys. And I guess because I was over there by the fountain, I didn't see it. There's a fountain. And like right up there, it looks like. I'll zoom in for you guys. You guys see that circular thing there to the right of the uh, the little cursor thing? Pretty sure that's it. So, you know what? Let's go underneath the fountain. Can I make it? Ah, I might be able to do it from here. Hold on. Ah, I barely made that. Jeez. Taking a lot of risks. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. So how do I? That is so hidden though, you guys. It's crazy. Oh, here we go. Start from the smaller slowly climb up so here why is that so hidden though that's what i want to know <laughs> like it's a little bit too hidden you know look at that oh there's a purple treasure thing up there Ooh, let's wait till we have some stamina back but uh zip. Oops. Zip. there we go got that that's good and now the fountain's going that's good that's good that's good so let's open up this treasure yep purple treasure thing ah i don't know what's in there can't reach it Hopefully not actual items. Thundering glass sculpture. Ooh. That's what it's called. A beautiful glass structure from the glass desert that resembles a lightning strike. Ooh, that is cool. Definitely want to go put those in our base, you guys. I don't know how expensive it's going to be to make that in the, uh, get to switch over to water and there you go. Ancient water, boom. So let's get these going. Zip. Boom, big, what do you call this? Oasis growing over here, which is awesome. There's another one around here somewhere? I don't know. I've only got a few more seconds of this, though. 14 seconds. Is there another one down here? I thought there might have been. I might have gone the other way, then. <laughs> now we need to go all the way around again, and then... Ah, yeah, six seconds left. Yeah, this is... Uh, right, there's nothing down here. You can probably get some prickle pear now. There's just tiny little baby little prickle pears there. <laughs> Man, now we just have regular old water. Ah, well, that sucks. But let's just go up here. And I guess... Oh, man, I need more stamina. Oh yeah, look at this oasis right here, like, ends, like, right at the edge of this. I guess if anything, there's going to be some over there, so... I guess we'll get the ancient water and we'll head that away, because I don't think there's anything on this one. <laughs> there you go. Climb up, 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 up. Keep going up! Up! There we go. We got an actual tornado inside of here now. Great job! Oh, oh. Oh, I guess these guys are wild in here, huh? Wait, isn't this guy supposed to be a... Yeah, he does have a special skin. Yeah, look at that. He's, like, kind of turquoise-looking color. Or something. I guess it's because it's nighttime, you can't really tell too much, but yeah. He, he has the, the moon skin or something like that. All these pools here that I thought were like plots, they filled up with water. We got slime or uh, pond slimes over here. Cute. All right, well, now we got. Oh, this, is this thing. What's causing this tornado? It seems like it's coming out of this, but it's not. And yeah, we got more of these. Uh, oh, a pond? Oh, no, that's a pond uh, or a uh, tangled dervish right there. I thought we had a pond. Because you can't have pond. Or fire Largos, because I was, I, was, I was about to say, like, what in the world is that a pond Largo that's, like, with the tangle or whatever there? That would have been crazy. But I, I guess we can, uh, yeah, you know what, go to the top of the tree here, and this is going to be a lot easier. Yeah. Uh, reset our uh, stamina. Oh, make it, make it. Oh, barely made it there. Okay. <laughs> Wait for a stamina regen. Go back up there. Then I'm sure there's going to be, like, two or three other plants over there we could do, right? Then, uh, I'm like, it lasts for 30 seconds, so... Hopefully we'll have enough. If I know where I'm going, 
that we can actually use this pretty well. So here we go. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so let's see. Where, where else can I use this? Ah, I'm not seeing anything. There. Oh, we got a fire event going on right now. Come on. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. None over here. Nothing. Okay. Nothing there. Anything else? Anything else? We got 12 seconds. No. Man, there's a lot of stuff spawning out there. That's crazy. Ah, six, five seconds. Four seconds, come on! Oh, there was another one over here, right? Somewhere. Oh, look at those eyes again. That is so spooky. Ugh, with like that weird mouth. Ugh. Oh man, we got the fire coming out of the ground. You'd be very careful of this. But hey, at least we, we made some good progress there, which is good. We got prickle pears? I kind of want to get, oh, you know what, yeah. We're in a feral, yeah, we're in a feral slime area, so hey. I don't care if they get killed over here, right? Oh, we got sl fire slimes coming out now. Oh man, there's a prickle pear tree down there I can get. Oh man, I'm getting killed by the fire! Oh, here we go. Whew. Um, what are the odds? What are the odds that fire would come out of that? What? <laughs> got another prickle pear tree right here. Come on, come on, land on the tree. Whew, there you go. All right, I'm relatively safe here. Right, oh! As I almost get killed by that, jeez. Wait for my stamina to get back up. I'm just trying to get more prickle pear, but I'm, like all I need is just one. I can grow that at the base. Then we'll be good to go. We can get unlimited prickle pear for our uh, dervish tangle largos we have at home. Stay out of the way of all the fire, though. Oh, man, there we go. There's a prickle pear right there. Yep. There we go. That's good. See, it's good that we're actually getting the prickle pears here. Because I was kind of worried earlier on. I was like, oh, man, I'm not seeing them over here in the oasis this is, or anything like that. And then I literally say, oh, yeah, you guys see it was like in the... Oh, man, we got tars. Well, you could have tars during this event. I think this would like kill all the tars or something like that, but ew, ew, look at how st ew, it's all stuck. Ew, I never saw it have like an arm like that. Ew, that is so nasty. Oh, now I'm more like uh, comfortable killing the tars because of how disgusting they look whenever they grab something. Ew, <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of fire slimes just casually hanging out now. So, where in the world am I? And how do I get out of here? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm like in a big circular area and I'm kind of stuck. Uh, I don't know. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, there's a secret skin here, right? Yeah, there is. Look at that. Boom. Let's see. What is that? Yo, what could it be? We already have a bunch of stuff. Devilish? Oh, that's for the fire slime. <gasps> Where is it? Wait, there's a fire slime down here. It looks like purple and fiery and stuff like that now. I just don't know where it is because... Yeah, you know, I bet the fire slime like despawned or something like that. I guess it can't survive for too long. Outside of the fire event. Oh, whoa, why do these guys look so different now? Is it, oh, it's probably because, yeah, they're like the Nebula Dervish with the, the, the blue rock slime skin. Okay, interesting. But either way, what in the world is this? I have no idea. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, I guess we'll just get out of here from up here and maybe head home. And oh, yeah, let's go check up on the apiaries. Back in the main area of the uh, the glass desert, that we have all the the, the pumps and apiaries and whatever else over there. I guess to go check up on those. And hey, I guess we can go feed one gilded ginger to our. Uh, oh, there's a slime. Oh, that's the slime key door that's in that area. Oh, is there another like fountain here? Because there's this. Hold on. And I'm hearing what sounds like it could be another gilded ginger, you guys. Like, I'm trying to just listen closely here. There's just chickens there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't hear it anymore, honestly. Oh, wait. No, oh, that would have been weird if it was growing, like, out of that. <laughs> no, I didn't see anything there. Man. But hey, I, I'm, I'm not complaining, because we got two Gilded Gingers within, like, two episodes of each other, which is crazy, you guys. I'm not seeing... Oh! So we opened up that door, yeah. And then we use the, the ancient water from that ancient fountain and then bring it over here. That's how we do this. I was, I was wondering, like, I was, is there more statues over here I need to do? But no. And yeah, we don't have any more keys, so we can't open up that. So we need to go some other way. And then I wonder what's behind that one Gordo that we saw. Okay, yeah, this just takes us back over here. No need to. And there's nothing there. All right. Well, let's, let's just kind of find our way back home, hopefully. Because <laughs> I'm not having any luck with that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Another Gilded Ginger. Holy heck. I, I, I just gave up and came back to the main area. 
I heard some more jingling and then boom, second Gilded Ginger. We just need one more. And then we could explode that, uh, that, that Golden Gordo back at our base, you guys. Holy heck. You know what? Let, let, let's teleport home. I do have a full inventory. Might as well get a little bit of something else out of our, uh... Oh, gosh. Oh, the, okay. These guys are still doing well. That's good. That's good. We do have some prickle pears, though, for them. So, uh... Get a few of these going. There you go. Then we save one, and then we can grow it up here. There you go. Garden. Put the prickle pear there. Boom. Perfect. Nutrient soil. Let's get that going. Sprinkler. Scare slime. Sure, why not? Miracle mix. Deluxe upgrade. Boom. Everything under the sun. Literally, because these are plants. <laughs> now, do I want to give the Gilded Gingers to this guy already? I guess. Like, where else? What else am I going to do with them, right? Uh, there you go. Oh, he's already pretty big. Oh, he's even bigger. <laughs> Alright, so one more. That should explode him. Holy heck, that's going to be great, you guys. Uh, either way, I do want to grab some more silver, or, uh, yeah, silver parsnips over here. And I guess we can go, speaking of exploding Gordos, should be able to go explore the go explode the Gordo that's over in the, oh my gosh, we have a lot of food here. That's good. We should be able to go explore, explode the gourd, explode the gourd, gordo, not explore the gordo. <laughs> we should be able to explode the gordo, mosaic a gordo. It's over in the other area. Yeah, see, I'm hearing some sparkling sounding right now. Yeah, these guys make sparkling sounds on their own. So yeah, I, I keep getting that mixed up with like, oh, is that a gilded ginger? Is that a golden slime or whatever? But no, I guess not. I just keep getting fooled by it, unfortunately. So that just sucks. <laughs> Either way, let's go back. There we go. So we're back here. Let's go back to the mosaic gordo that's over here. If we could find another gilded ginger over here, that's going to be amazing. But I'm just going to make a beeline basically to the. Uh, oh yeah, and then we need to ah, we get mosaic plorts. Ah, I literally just ran right into the fire right there. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Let me get back to the gordo over here, you guys. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Hopefully, I don't die from all this fire though. All right, guys. I am back. I see a couple tars down there. Oh, they're bouncing. Should be able to make this jump, though. Oh, we have a good jetpack. Boom, there you go, perfect. So, let's give this guy a bunch of parsnips. Oh, I don't know how, oh my gosh, he's so big. He's bigger than Doorway, what? Oh, there you go, he's exploding. We got way more than we needed, so that's good. Let's grab these guys, we've got a crate there. Crate, more of these little mosaics here. Another crate, more mosaics, and another slime key. Okay, so we can finally open up that other doorway, and what is that? Rad ornament. Cool. That's very rad. Oh, no, we got a swirling thing right there, too. Cool. Uh, so we're, okay, I'll put these up, I suppose. I do need that swirling ornament thing. Oh, you know what? I could just, uh, oh, yeah, perfect, perfect. Let's do this. Warp tech, refiner link, refinery link. Let's put that up over here. Boom. Uh, I don't think I could do the same thing with the ornament, right? Yeah, I, I need the decoration version of that. Primordy oil there. Oh, man, we even got some, uh, prickle pear. Yeah, we already started growing that at home, so we don't need to worry about that, honestly. So, uh, I guess we're good here, huh? Pick that back up. Boom. Awesome. Now, where does this go? Hold on. Is this... This goes into the main area, doesn't it? It does! Look at that! Sweet! That's just to get from there back to here. Oh, wait, hold on. I was about to say, like, how do we get from here back to there? But I guess... Maybe we could do some parkour up here or something? I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, a treasure pod. Another purple one. Tier three. Let's see what's inside. Berry Warp Depot. <laughs> I guess it's just another uh, color there we can use. Oh, there's the fire. Oh, no, he just died. Oh, man. Ah. Well, hey, let's see what's inside of these things here. Any more swirly thing? Nope. Nothing else there. So that sucks. Uh, what about over here, though? The apiary. I think we have a... Uh, yep, we have an apiary there. Boom. Oh, what in the world is that? I guess we can get rid of the mosaic slimes. We have a lot of them already. There we go. What in the world? Pe oh, that's the pepper jam. We need that for something. And thankfully, we got one right there, so that's good. I guess if we could place it over here, and then now we go inside the, uh... There you go, refinery link. And there you go, pepper jam. I guess I'll have to pick each one. Uh, you know what? We don't need that. There we go. Pick all these up. Buzzwax. Let's go place them all up over here. And then we have a couple other things over there, which is good. Because we do have uh, both er, an apiary, a drill, and a pump over here. So we're getting a little bit of everything. So let's see. What are these things? Silky sand and primordial oils. That's good. What do we get out of the drill, though? 
more of the uh, like crystal glass or whatever there, and some more of the uh, slime rocks or whatever those are called. <laughs> so let's just go over here. Let's go drop these off in the uh, uh, refinery link. There you go. And I guess we'll pick that back up. And I hear some tars. I don't know where they are though, but I believe if we go he yes here, yes this way. Let's wait for our stamina to get back. And then uh, we can activate the fountain, and then maybe next episode we could actually uh, no, well, you know what? Oh, okay. I guess just real quick, we could uh, refresh this or whatever you'd want to call it, right? It's mosaic, port, boom. There you go, got that. Good. I need to get up that. If I could reach that. Ah, oh, man, that was a waste. Got it. I can retrieve this one. Whoop. And uh, go back down here. Where's the mouth on this one? Oh, there it is. We got them all! Nice! Alright, well, I guess we grab some of this water over here. Wait for our stamina to go up perfectly so we can actually travel the furthest distance. And there you go. Okay, it's going up. There you go. Okay, now we got the ancient water. Now we can regrow all this up here and maybe a little bit more outside. If I can actually reach Oh, there's a crate there to the left on that cliff. You guys see that? Okay, only 20 seconds left. Yeah, it took 10 seconds to get out of here in the first place. Boom! And no, 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 no. We're here over here. 12 seconds. Boom. Two more oases. Boom. Oh, man. Q-berry's growing over here. What? Yeah, look at that. We got a Q-berry tree. <laughs> oh, look at all the slimes. Man, that was a bunch of them that just spawned in right there. That was crazy. Oh, man. We have uh, silver parsnips right there, too. Cool. All right. Well, I could fall back down here and grab more of the ancient water. I don't know where else I could use this, though, but uh, there you go. Oh, and then there's random pogo fruit right there. Who knows where that's from? <laughs> but anyways, let's see if we can find anywhere we can throw this. And then I guess we could head home and end off the episode or something. Hold on. You guys, I'm hearing the... I'm hearing the jingling sound again, and it does not sound... Where's that coming from? Coming from, like, right here. <gasps> Is that... Another gilded! Oh, we found three in the same episode? What? Holy heck! Now, how do I get out of here? Uh oh. Um. No, this is not it. <gasps> uh oh. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. Oh! I don't know how to get out of here. This is bad. I don't know if I can make it from there to there. Hold on, let's wait. Let's wait for a stamp to go up. Oh, this is this is a very valuable cargo. I don't think I can make that. Hmm. I could try, but hmm. Yeah, see, it's not. Ah, uh, it's not letting me go up very much. Golly, how? Why would they put that there if you can't get back up? Ah, go 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 go! Oh oh! How 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 in the world? How in the world? That was pure luck that that's even there. Oh, go. oh my gosh, you guys, we got the third guild of ginger. Let's go home. We got a lot of amazing progress done this episode, you guys. I feel very, very proud of all that we got done this episode, all the exploration, all the progress we got done with the other, uh, the Gordo we exploded. Another Gordo that we can explode right now because we have three of the guild of ginger. The opening of the, of, oh yeah, this right here. I forgot this was uh, just laying on the floor. I guess we can get that. Uh, we oh, oh yeah, we got another another slime key that we can open up over here. We got a lot like what two or three oasises activated. Actually, I think like four, right? Two like two more fountains and then like four more oasises itself, right? So we got a lot of really good progress done. So there you go, boom, two slime key areas opened up, which is good. So now we can actually get another one done if I am fast enough here, right? I'm able to go from here. Boom! Go, 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 go! Speed run it, Hater! Let's go! Uh, I don't know if I can make it up. Uh, go, 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 keep going. 21 seconds. Hey, leave that, that number again. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. 16 seconds. 16 seconds. Am I? Uh, yep, I have water selected. Boom! Oh, we got another one with 10 seconds to go. Oh my gosh. 10 seconds to spare. So overwhelmed and flustered, I don't even know how to say it correctly. <laughs> Look at all speed of overwhelm, man! Look, look at those guys attacking chickens! 
<laughs> Look at those chickens coming out of the little chicken nest right there. That is insane. Look at the little babies right there. Hold on, those stony. Yeah, those are stony ones. Hold on. Uh, you see, we got a stony. It's not in our slimepedia though, right? Like we're missing like one thing that's like a chicken. Yeah, we got this stony chickadoo. What? Is, yeah. Oh, that's the uh, briar chickadoo, right? Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, okay, well, we need to go to the Moss Blanket to check that out, but, uh, yep, there you go. Have fun, I guess. <laughs> okay, let me go home. We got even more progress done right there, you guys. It's insane. We got so much done this episode. I don't know how long it is, but my raw footage is, like, well, probably well over an hour, so. <laughs> Enjoy, I guess. You guys really love these hour-long episodes. Every time I upload one, I always get a lot of comments of you guys saying thank you for the, uh, the longer episodes. We love the longer episodes, which, you know, they take longer to make, but, hey, at least if you guys are enjoying them that much more, then, hey, uh, I guess I won't complain, because I'm still having so much fun with this game that time continues to pass super duper fast for me, which is insane. But let's just go over here. Let's go put up the glass shards, jelly stone. Uh, we have a rat ornament. I guess we can go put that up over here as well. And you know what? We have that one gilded ginger. We have the third one. We've already fed two to the giant Gordo guy. I, I'm, I'm, I'd hate to do it. I, I Oh man, look at all this. I'd hate to do it, but uh, I've got, I kind of I, I kind of want to do a cliffhanger here, you guys. We're not going to give the, <laughs> the gilded ginger to the Gordo this episode. I kind of want to save that for next episode. We already got a lot done this episode, you guys. It, it'd be just crazy if I did even more of this episode, to be quite honest. My, we definitely need to save something for next episode, you know? We can't just have a 10-hour episode, which I'm like, we can. What, next episode is going to be a 10-hour one, I bet. <laughs> but, you know, we have to end an episode sometime, right? We just can't have a never-ending episode. So, <laughs> definitely need to save that gilded ginger for next episode, but real quick, might as well go check up on all of our refineries and stuff like that, or uh, apiaries and stuff like that, and go put all the stuff inside the refinery, so there you go, boom, boom, any, uh, no royal jelly there, man, ah, I need to make more too, because we have none in the apiary right now, and we have no mine, uh, no drills over here, no pumps or anything like that over here, which sucks. Still need a couple more of those, like, spiral things. I guess we'll go, uh, to the dry reef in front of our base. Go check up on that, see how that's doing. See how these drones are doing here water-wise. Yep, they're out of water, so... I'm like, it's kind of self-explanatory by all the crops all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> obviously they need to, uh, get filled up on their water. But let's go check up on the, uh, the stuff in front of our base. Oh my gosh, look, see that! That is the size of a Gordo that I'm used to. That thing is huge! This is literally about to explode. <laughs> now, when it does explode... What are we going to do? Can we suck up the, the slimes during that? Or do we want to feed them and get their, their plorts? What are we going to do? I don't know. We need to figure something out, you guys. Uh, let me place down the refinery link somewhere. Here, sure. <laughs> so we can get a little bit extra inventory space. So there you go. Buzzwax and hexacomb. We can drop that off. There you go. Now keep this gilded ginger in my inventory because I know you guys want me to feed it to the, to the Gordo so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, we got the spiral shirt. We have enough. You guys, we can get the great teleports. We, we could do that next episode too. Perfect. Awesome. And you know what? I got a lot of comments from you guys saying I need to do more of the, uh, the, the rancher connection things. Of, I forgot the technical name of it. <laughs> but, you know, the missions over here. We need to do more of those because apparently one more rancher we can do stuff with. And he'll, uh, he'll, I think it's Victor something, right? Uh, I think the, the older lady, I forgot her name. Yeah, I forgot her name. <laughs> but, uh, the older lady, yeah, she's a rancher and all, she just doesn't have a place you can actually go to. And apparently, I think, maybe I'm mixing this up with someone else, I think she was the wife of Hobson or something like that, right? The old owner of this ranch? I, I, I guess I'm in her ranch, if, if you're thinking about it that way. Which is interesting. Hmm. Well, let's put some uh, prickle pears over here. There you go. Let's check them on our quantum rad slimes over here. See how they're doing. Hopefully none of them have escaped. Oh, oh, oh. look at all the lemons and stuff. Well, there you go. This is full. Oh, my gosh. Does this need water? Yep, they need water. No wonder. Jeez. Man, no one's getting anything done. See, this is why we don't need to... We, we shouldn't be... Look at this. This is why we shouldn't go on huge adventures like that, because we our, our, our drones, even though they do stuff for us while we're away, they eventually run out of water and they can't do anything anymore. So, holy heck, almost a hundred, over a hundred lemons just sitting there. Jeez, that is insane. I am surprised these guys are not upset, but then again, they're flooded, absolutely flooded with phase lemons. Like, look at that. Golly. What is this weird stuff coming out of the ground. Oh, I think that's the, uh, the tangle slimes doing something like that, huh? 
That's their top, their spinning top making all that noise there, huh? Well, there, yeah, he's delivering like a singular lemon right there. 99 up to 100. Oh, 100. This can hold them more than 100 too? That's so crazy. Like these are able to hold over 300 each. Let's look at that, 300 plus and then, huh, interesting. Well, either way, uh, I need to end this episode like uh, yesterday. <laughs> Cause this is probably going to be like the longest episode depending on how much trash I cut out of the video. So you know what? I guess we'll end it off right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And of course, if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new episode of Slime Rancher comes out so you never miss one because like I said, next episode, you do not want to miss it. Next episode, we're giving this Gilded Ginger to that Golden Gordo over there and we're going to see what we're going to, ha like what's just going to happen in general when we feed it to him. Like, is he going to explode and we'll be able to uh, suck up all the uh, gold slimes over there or... Are they all just going to run away and then it's going to be like one giant waste or something like that? Who knows? I guess we'll just have to wait until next episode to find out. And I definitely want to have like literally anything in my inventory just just in case. Just so we could feed it to the gold slimes and hopefully get a few gold ports out of them. Because that's going to be really, really good, you guys. And holy heck, if we could find more gold, gilded ginger things and get like a bunch of golden gordos here at our base, that's going to be amazing. We'll just get an endless supply of money and, and gold ports and stuff like that out of him. Because I seem to have a lot of luck finding those uh, gilded gingers you guys it's crazy three in one episode three in the span of like an hour hour and a half or something like that of recording that's just just amazing and i'm not bragging or anything like that it's crazy you guys i'm sure i'm going to get a lot of comments from you guys wondering what in the world happened with that why do we have a bunch of parsnips over here who put the parsnips over here what this is the wrong place to put the parsnips this drone over here i guess we'll grab them we'll go give them to the uh pink slimes or something like that i suppose oh yeah we see Get the parsnips over here. I should probably get rid of this garden. I, I like. I don't know what I'm gonna put over here. I definitely do want to read you guys' comments about like me moving the mosaic saber largos over there and like per perhaps like hey, if you guys have any suggestions on what we should do with this, like I'm still not comfortable letting those guys completely loose or anything like that. So uh, maybe I'll just remove the crops right now and then we can still plant something there. It's just that it's not gonna be that. You know, just so it's not a wasted garden or anything like that, right? I think I've already done my full outro and I'm still playing the game, you guys. This is, see, this is just another testament to how addicted I am to this game. It's crazy. <laughs> Feed all the pink slimes. There you go. And let's put some inside their feeders, too, just to keep them nice and fed. Even whatever I'm not here. There we go. And same thing here. There we go. Is this full? It is full of mosaic plorts. God, or sa well, saber and mosaic, I'm sure, because they're all just flooded at the floor of that. <laughs> Let me grab all these. Oh yeah, wasn't I ending an episode or something like that? Already did the outro, like button, subscribe button, bell, eh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, you, you guys know the deal. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher. Oh, bye there.